He was assisted by President F.L. Peterson of Oakwood College and Reverend O.H. Troy of Pasadena, a former pastor of the Market Street Seventh-day Adventist Church. Dr. Hamilton is survived by his wife, Mrs. Darling Hamilton, and a host of friends. assisted by President F.L. Peterson of Oakwood College and Reverend O.H. Troy of Pasadena, a former pastor of the Market Street Seventh-day Adventist Church. Dr. Hamilton is survived by his wife, Mrs. Darling Hamilton, and a host of friends. New York City, Matthew Henson, 81-year-old explorer, the only person now living who stood with Admiral Peary when the American flag was unfurled atop the North Pole, was guest of honor at a dinner given by members of the Explorers Club last week in celebration of the 38th anniversary of Peary's dash to the Pole in 1909. In recalling the historic event, Henson asserted that his expertness at, uh, as a dog team driver and his knowledge of the Eskimo language caused him to be selected as the only Negro member of the 1909 expedition to join the Admiral and four Eskimo assistants on the 413-mile dash. Actually, he was the first member of the party to reach the North Pole because Peary, who delayed the last few miles due to frozen feet, could not be on the spot. Friends, we have some visitors in the studio this morning and I'm sure that you're going to be very pleased to meet them. Uh, we have uh, Mr. E.F. Joseph, our well-known uh, photographer. I know that some of you know him through his pictures, but I'm sure that there are any number of you who have never heard his voice. Good morning, Mr. Joseph. Good morning, Mr. Pittman. Well, we're very glad to have you in the studio this morning, and I'm wondering if I could ask you to be kind enough to introduce our very distinguished lady visitor. Thank you very much, Mrs. Pittman. I must let you know that I have been listening to your program every Sunday morning, and it is a pleasure to be here this morning and to introduce my leading lady of the Pittsburgh Courier, Mrs. Robert L. Van. Mrs. Van? How do you do, Mrs. Van? How do you do, Mrs. Pittman? Well, we certainly are delighted to have you be kind enough to come down here so early this morning to meet our radio audience. I am sure that they are going to be very pleased. I wish all of them could be here in the studio to see you. I want to say for the benefit of the ladies particularly, and of course also for our men who are listening in, that Mrs. Van, I haven't asked her how old she is, but she is looking very, very young. I know she hasn't seen too many years because she's very beautiful. She's uh, tired in a lovely black silk file suit, wearing a sable scarf and a multicolored hat and she looks lovely indeed. Mrs. Van, uh, what brings you to the Pacific Coast? Business and pleasure. Well, uh, pleasure, uh, how long have you been away from home? I've been away since the 28th of March. Most of that time has been up to now has been spent in Los Angeles. And uh, will you be uh, going anyplace else uh, while you're out here on the Pacific Coast before you go back home? Yes, I plan to go to Portland and to Seattle. I'm exploring the possibilities of the Pittsburgh Courier in the Pacific Coast. Well, we're very glad to know that. Uh, uh, Mrs. Uh, Van, I'm sure that it is of great interest to me as a woman, and it probably is of great interest to uh, particularly our women listeners. Uh, I'd like to know, uh, did you, were you associated with your husband in the career before his death, or uh, have you come recently to the paper? Well, during his lifetime, I think I was just a housewife. But uh, since his death in 1940, I have been actively engaged in the uh, production of The Courier. I feel that uh, perhaps its success is a demonstration that, um, well, women can carry on a business. Well, we're very glad to know that, and we're certainly very proud of the excellent record that you have been making. Now, I think that uh, our listeners would like to know, or I'm sure that out here, the Pacific Coast edition is well circulated, but we'd like to know that uh, our listeners would like to know, or I'm sure that out here, the Pacific Coast edition is well circulated, but we'd like to know what is the circulation of the paper? The uh, total circulation is better than 300,000. 
and uh, it is divided into 13 different editions, going, of course, to all parts of the country. Well, we're very glad to know that. And what about your staff? How many workers? Do you know actually what your staff is? We have 265 employees. 160 of those are in the home office. The others are distributed throughout the country at our various offices. Well, uh, we understand that there is just one Pacific Coast office in Los Angeles. I'm wondering, are you interested in an office in any other section of the Pacific Coast, Mrs. Van? I'm very much interested, and that is part of my business here. I'm here to explore the possibilities of establishing, establishing an office in this area. Well, we certainly hope that we'll be able to commend uh, Oakland or San Francisco to you since you're uh, thinking about opening another office. Uh, I'm uh, wondering also um, if uh, you... Is this your first trip to the uh, coast, Mrs. Van? No, I was here in 1935 with my husband, but this is the first time that I have been back since. Well, that's certainly interesting, and uh, I don't know whether our listeners are going to like it that you spent such a long time down in Los Angeles, but maybe we can get you to stay just as long up in this part and show you some of the historic points of interest. I'm sure that your host and hostess and other people will uh, certainly see that that's done. Now, I want to thank you so very much, Mrs. Van, for coming in. Thank you, Mrs. Pittman. And thank you also, Mr. Joseph, for being kind enough to escort uh, our lovely lady into the uh, studio this morning. Thank you very much, Mrs. Pittman. Friends, I want to say uh, that uh, you have been listening uh, to our program. I want to say in closing that this time for this interview was made possible by D.G. Gibson, the wholesale distributor of Negro newspapers and magazines, who gave up the time for his regular ad this morning. This is to be a Hall Pittman announcing. Until next Sunday then, goodbye.